Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start the ceremony here in the next two, three minutes. Three, five, so you find your seats, it's time to go first. It's going to be great to be here, speak to you in person, and uh, we'll get started here. So thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deb Wyatt Steele, and it is my honor to welcome you <laughs> to our commissioning ceremony. At this time, would you please rise for the presentation of the colors?
Ladies and gentlemen, if you please remain standing for the invocation given by Cadet So. Good afternoon, everyone. If you could join me while I give the invocation for today. Lord God, as we stand here today with loved ones, distinguished guests, cadets, cadre, and soon to be second lieutenants, I thank you for this time and this place to celebrate the class of 2023's commissioning into the Air Force. You have seen this cohort through years of military instruction, selection boards, tests, field training, lessons in leadership, and in followership and you have equipped us with the friends, family, instructors, and mentors we've needed along the way. As we go forward into our careers, help us to joyfully celebrate when all our hard work pays off on days like these, and to continue on with the same resilience that brought us here in the first place when we face trials and hard times. Instill in us a consistent desire to put integrity first, to serve others before ourselves, and to give our most excellent selves to the situations we find ourselves in. God, please bless this ceremony as we celebrate this, sorry everybody, outstanding accomplishment. In your name we pray, amen. All right, thank you, Cadet So. Please be seated. At this time, I'd like to introduce the official party for today's ceremony. Our presider over the ceremony is Major Andrew Geist, also one of our aerospace and science. Aerospace Science Instructors. Uh, we also have a distinguished guest and our guest speaker for today, Major Lucero. And we also have the cadre from Detachment 910 joining, up, joining us as well. Major Castle, Captain Turley, Sergeant Sloan, and Sergeant Lane. Awesome. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say this. Though he could not be here with us today, we are honored to welcome the commander of Detachment 910, Colonel Cheatham, as he live streams in from the beautiful Maxwell Air Force Base, Alabama, on the computer in the back. Colonel Cheatham, thanks for being here, sir. He is here, I promise. All right. And finally, I would like to extend a special welcome to the family and friends of the commissioning class. Today is about honoring our soon-to-be lieutenants, but they would not be here without your love and your support. Thank you for all you have done. At this time, I would like to welcome Major Geist to provide some opening remarks. Sir? All right, well, good afternoon. It's wonderful to be with you all here. And I just want to uh, say on behalf of Colonel Cheatham, it is truly a privilege to have all of you gathered here with us today. Uh, we've worked with your cadets uh, day in and day out for years now. And so it's wonderful to now be able to see and put faces to the support system that has been behind those, those cadets. I won't take a lot of time. I don't want to steal anything away from uh, Major Lucero and his remarks. Uh, but I do want to say, again, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I do want to greet, uh, on behalf of uh, the commander, all of our distinguished guests. Uh, we thank Major Lucero for being here. Uh, this is one of the things I love about the United States Air Force is the, uh, the lifelong connections that you make. It was actually just barely over 12 years ago that Major Lucero and I uh, walked across the stage and got our commission on the same day back in Colorado. Uh, in 2011, so it's wonderful to be here again with him today uh, as we now uh, get to see another group of cadets become second lieutenants. Uh, cadet Steele already mentioned this, but uh, nothing that we're doing here today could have happened without uh, all of you, and by you I mean primarily the people who are not in a uniform uh, today. Uh, and so, you know, without, again, without uh, beating a dead horse or, or repeating things over and over and over again, Thank you all so much for the, uh, the, the thoughts, the support, the, uh, the shoulder that you've been perhaps to cry on uh, that, that maybe we didn't get to see, uh, and just the encouragement that you've been to all of those that are here getting ready to be second lieutenants today. Uh, one of the last things I'll say is about this class of soon-to-be lieutenants specifically. Uh, I've been a cadre member and instructor at Detachment 910 for uh, closing in on three years now. And so I've had a chance to work with a lot of cadets, both here in Washington and down at field training, uh, in my case, in Mississippi. And uh, one of the things that I have to do every year as I teach a class of cadets, I teach them when they're juniors, is to rank a couple times a year from top to bottom, uh, every single cadet in the class. And I have to 
uh, work with Colonel Gina to come up with. Here's the one through uh, N list. Uh, and I have to say with this class in particular, this was one of my least favorite jobs uh, when I taught them uh, because universally the level of performance for these 15 cadets uh, was so far uh, uh, above what was just the minimum or what was expected uh, that every time I sat down, I looked at the names and go, uh, every single one of these is a uh, top three uh, individual. Every one of these is top 10%. Uh, unfortunately, that's not how math works. Uh, so so I, I was unable to uh, write those numbers down. But uh, if I could have, uh, that's what I would say about this class. It's truly an outstanding uh, group of performers. Uh, and for those of you that don't know me, I'm actually on terminal leave as of about two weeks ago. Uh, so I'm transitioning uh, to be Mr. Geist instead of Major Geist. Uh, but it is a privilege to stand here today uh, and pass off the baton, if you will, to this group of future leaders. Uh, and I'm uh, just overjoyed to be able to do that uh, as I put back on my civilian clothes to watch them put on Lieutenant Bars. Uh, so with that, I'll just say that uh, this is a military ceremony. There's some kind of uh, pomp and circumstance and, and uh, uh, formality, but it's also a celebration. So if you want to cheer or let out a, a hoorah or cry or a clap, uh, please feel free to do so. We're not at a funeral. Uh, and so let's enjoy the celebration uh, as we celebrate our, our new lieutenants today. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would next like to introduce our guest speaker. Major Paul B.G. Lucero was assigned as a cadre member and aerospace science instructor for the class of 2023. Major Lucero attended the United States Air Force Academy and commissioned in the Air Force in May of 2011. Upon commissioning, he attended undergraduate cyberspace training at Keesler Air Force Base, Mississippi. He then proceeded to his first duty station at Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington, where he performed duties as the 627th Communications Squadron, at the 627th Communications Squadron. In June of 2015, he attended the Cyber Vulnerability Assessment Hunter and later performed duties as Deputy Flight Commander and Chief of Standardization and Evaluation for the 834th Cyberspace Operations Squadron. In January of 2019, he arrived at his favorite assignment, the University of Washington, where he helped and, and develop and inspire the people we will commission here today. Please join me in welcoming our guest speaker, Major Lucero. Thank you, Cadet Steele, for, for the introduction. First, I'd like to thank uh, Colonel Cheatham, the uh, cadre of Debt 910, Rainier Raptors, and the class of 2023 for inviting me back. Um, speaking of which, uh, Major Geist, we talked about, like we talked about, he was my classmate back at the Academy. I still remember when Colonel Colonel Cheatham, when he was a major Cheatham back when I was a cadet at the academy too, and he was there as well. So it's like all our worlds collide in the Air Force, and this is a very small Air Force. So, but yeah, um, I will, I'd like to welcome and thank our distinguished visitors, uh, Colonel Retired Mickle and uh, Colonel Retired Hendrickson. Uh, thank you, Colonel Mickle, for providing this Washington Native Academy grad cyber warrior the opportunity to influence the next generation of airmen and guardians. Um, it's truly an honor and privilege, and I see the impact right before my eyes to see young men and women who are, you know, you guys are literally teenage civilians, and to see you guys like going to lead our Air Force and Space Force is very amazing to see that. So, um, I want to mention Dead 910 has been around for a hundred years. Do that. So, we started commissioning officers way back to the Army Air Corps. Uh, back in uh, the class of 1926. So you guys are falling in the shoulders of giants here. It's pretty amazing, like 100 years later, and we're still doing that for two services now in our department. Uh, I wanna also welcome and thank our parents, teachers, loved ones, mentors, family members, and significant others. Um, it takes a village to transform our young men and women. And uh, it's pretty cool seeing like, you know, some of you all in the crowd, like. I remember receiving your phone calls at my office uh, about your son or daughter. So I'm glad they finally made it here today. So um, I want to share a few memories of the class of 2023. Uh, this is pretty cool. I still remember you all walking at new student orientation with your blue polo shirts. 
A little did I know what adversity y'all are going to face with the pandemic, uh, with the changes of the world, right? So during the pandemic, you all conquered the cyberspace domain. How did you guys do that? Well, you did class over Canvas, Zoom, and Discord. And I'm pretty amazed to see that you guys are able to do your communications over Discord uh, with lead labs and stuff, because that's what we do out in the, in the, in the cyber realm. I still remember one class, one of our AS classes on Tuesday, you all wore Hawaiian shirts. And that really cracked me up because I put a big smile on my face. You guys did that uh, in, in, in light of what was going on in the pandemic and what's going on in the world. But you, 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 you put a light on that, uh, on that day. Um, your practice of air power was very apparent very early on when I saw most of your homework assignments met their time on target requirement of 0 100 hours. So keep doing that. So when you guys do your tactical planning in the future, I mean, despite all those obstacles, you guys went through all your AS classes, your early morning lead labs, uh, and then hot days at field training, and then ultimately finishing your degree and up to this moment today. Um, with that said, I want to highlight your achievements. You all have a cumulative GPA of 3.56. You met that GPA requirement, right? And then. Uh, you majored in sciences, engineering, and humanities. And then um, you are all assigned many different AFSCs and uh, Space Force uh, specialties as well. Uh, aviation, space, special warfare, intel, uh, acquisitions, and combat support. Um, you all are going to be scattered around the globe, or maybe some of you all will be sent out of this world, like Colonel Anderson, class of uh, 1981. But you're going to be leading the way and organizing and, tra and training and equipping forces for this new multi-domain environment, uh, ready to conduct ops to defend the homeland, deter aggression against our peer adversaries, and build relationships with our allied and joint partners. So with all that said, you're going to work with many different organizations and people across the board. Um, well, you ultimately, you're going to be protectors of our skies, our orbits, and our networks ensuring open navigation and elevating new opportunities for our country and society. So before you commission, I don't want to make it sound like AS class again. I'm going to share a few nuggets that have stood the test of time uh, as an officer that I would like to share with you guys. Um, these are remarks that I received from both like in feedback sessions from my, from my commanders and from, from very good NCOs. So I'm going to start from right here. The essence of being an officer is a practice of possessing a well-formed conscience and making the most prudent decision for the mission, people, and the environment. Every one of you, take care of the squadron like you would your own neighborhood corner store or coffee shop. Take care of the people that work there. No matter how advanced the technology is, you're responsible for those bad comments, but you're also responsible for telling your baristas a, a job well done for making that good cup of coffee. In other words, you may not be that airman executing that tactical task, but you must let that airman know what this operational and strategic implications of doing that task. I mean, for example, when uh, one of my cyber missions, we had our airmen just typing commands on Windows XP. It's just Windows XP, right? Well, that mission, those results were testified in front of Congress. And that was basically the Department of Defense warning Congress about the vulnerabilities of our nation's critical assets. So we got to translate that back to our MN down below, no matter how um, mundane that task would be, because those little tasks are important for the big picture overall. To help you make the most prudent decision, I urge you all, Cling on to an NCO, non-commissioned officer. Take them under, put yourself under their wing. I couldn't emphasize that enough. Be their student, let them mentor you. That NCO's rank, whether it's shown as a chevron, rocker, or orbit, is a direct mirror of those bars that you're about to wear. Uh, that NCO officer relationship is like a, it's like a dance, but that officer has to lead that dance, right? Uh, trust your NCOs and consider your advice and concerns in your decision making. Be their top cover, and in turn, they'll take care of you and make sure that you don't get fired. <laughs> that character that you exemplify reflects directly on your NCOs. 
and that character is required in exercising the authority asked of you in accomplishing the mission. I couldn't overemphasize that enough. Um, cling on to that NCO. When you don't make the most prudent decision, humbly own your mistakes and give yourself some grace. So in, our, in every mission, what we do, we do this thing called a, a debriefing. So what we do is we look back. I know you guys have probably done this several times in lead lab and, and field training, but it's also here in the real Air Force as well, at Space Force. So take some time to debrief, look at what went wrong, explain what the root cause is, and create lessons learned to prove upon before executing the next mission. So not even chat GPT or machine learning algorithms are going to even handle what debriefing is like because it's a it's going to it takes um, honesty and courage to actually admit that you've done something wrong right and it feels uncomfortable but that's okay because with that said you what makes us different from from the machines from the computers is that we can create solutions and solve problems we wouldn't have the technology, this amazing technology that you see right outside our window with, with airplane spacecraft and these wonderful networks and AI without the lessons learned from, from, from human beings. So own our mistakes. It grounds us towards a solid foundation for truth, excellence, and mastery. And then uh, last but not least, um, when I received this, this piece of advice from a senior NCO, that, work, that rank that we're all gonna wear, that I'm wearing, that you're going to wear, that all the people before you and ahead of you are gonna wear is all borrowed. That rank is temporary. That means that the time that you have to wear those second lieutenant bars are already short at this point. There's, it's, you're not gonna wear those bars forever. You're all gonna move on to different positions higher positions, or even leave the military. But what I'm saying is make the best time for it. You guys were, just a moment ago, you guys were wearing barcodes, and now you're gonna wear gold bars. Make the best of it. Um, this is your term of office, like kind of like with the president and statesman up in government, that's their term of office. This is your term of office, you know? Make that best of it. You know, do your best to execute the duties that you're you're asked to enter. With that said, congratulations. This is amazing seeing you guys over here right in front of me. Um, there's no other moment like this for the rest of your life. Enjoy it. I, as your cadre, backing it as your gateway to the Air Force back then at Clark Hall, um, I am very proud and honored to see you serve our nation uh, choose to serve our nation, um, enter ROTC, going through the, the gauntlet that we have here in this program, and now eventually go into the wild blue yonder. So um, aim high, fly, fight, and win. And I look forward to seeing your leadership make a positive difference for our nation. Thank you. great. All right. We're on it. You know what time it is. Without further ado, commissioning class of 2023, the time has come to become officers in the United States Air Force and the United States Space Force. Ladies and gentlemen, today you will witness each officer candidate have their new rank pinned onto their shoulders and may receive the traditional first salute from a fellow enlisted service member. Please note that some lieutenants may wish to save their first salute for a later time. Some suggest the tradition of the first salute was passed on from British regiments garrisoned in the United States during the colonial era. New officers were assigned an enlisted advisor who showed them the ropes, taught them the regimental history and the basics of the military profession. In return, lieutenants compensated their enlisted advisor with a small sum of money represented today by the exchange of a silver dollar. To new officers, the tradition exemplifies the mutual respect found between service members. In addition, new lieutenants will recite the oath of office, signifying their entrance into the ranks of the officer corps of the United States Air Force and the United States Space Force. 
The oath of office will be administered by friends or family members who are or were officers in the United States military. To those participating in today's ceremony, when your cadet's name is announced, I ask that the officers administering the oath of office, family and friends that are pinning on the rank and service members rendering the first salute, please come forward. And one administrative note, family members will have an opportunity as well for extended family to take pictures over here on the right side or your left side of the stage once we're done. Um, so let's get started. With the family and friends of Cadet Jacob Angerman, please come forward. Lieutenant Angerman will have his rank pinned on. That Angerman will be commissioned by Colonel Scott Angerman. Lieutenant Angerman will be serving as a developmental engineer at Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma. Lieutenant Angerman will now receive his first salute from Technical Sergeant Sloan. copies of the oath of office as well in case anyone just want to bring that up no homework uh, no homework assigned beforehand so all right with the friends and family of cadet Devrin Julianot please come forward Lieutenant Julianon will have his rank pinned on
Joan Adams will be commissioned by Colonel Retired John Paul Nichols. Lieutenant Joan An will serve as a Space Acquisitions Officer at Los Angeles Space Force Base, California. Lieutenant Joan An will now receive his first salute from Buck Sergeant Rappaport Joan An. Friends of Cadet Frederick Chung, please come forward. Lieutenant Chung will have his rank pinned on. That term will be commissioned by Lieutenant Colonel Jacqueline D. Chang. Lieutenant John will serve as an aircraft maintenance officer at Fairchild Air Force Base, Washington. Hope you like this weather. <laughs> <laughs> now Lieutenant John will receive his first salute from Staff Sergeant James Hall. Friends and family of Cadet Taylor Daly, please come forward. Lieutenant Daly will now have her rank pinned on.
Ed Daly will be commissioned by Second Lieutenant Frederick Chung. Aircraft maintenance officer at Travis Air Force Base, California. <laughs> Lieutenant Daly will now receive her first salute from Chief Master Sergeant Bud Daly. Family and friends of Cadet Shayla Hago, please come forward. Lieutenant <laughs> Hago will now have her rank pinned on. by Major Andrew Geist. will be a space operations officer with initial training duties at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. <laughs> Lieutenant Hago will now receive her first salute from Chief Petty Officer Hago.
All right. For the family and friends of Cadet Riley Kent, please come forward. Lieutenant <laughs> Kent will now have his rank pinned on. Lieutenant will be headed to undergraduate pilot training at Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas. <laughs> Lieutenant Kent will be receiving his first salute from Chief Petty Officer Hay. Amelia Coley, please come forward. Lieutenant Coley will now have her mic come back. Air 
Jenna Coley will now receive her first salute from Technical Sergeant Sloan. For the family and friends of Cadet Noah Pluska, please come forward. Lieutenant Pluska will now have his rank. I know. Be serving as a reservist C 17 pilot with the 97th Airlift Squadron at Joint Base Lewis McCord. Lieutenant yeah. Plusco will now receive his first salute from Petty Officer Paul Plusco. Family and friends of Cadet Joel Slominski, please come forward. Lieutenant Slominski will now have his rank and note. <laughs> that semester will be commissioned by Brigadier General Mark Smith. Thank you. 
Tim Smithy will be a combat systems officer with initial training at Pensacola, Florida. Liberty Service Excellence. <laughs> Tim Smithy will be receiving his first salute from Cadet Madeline Zetzler. Zachary Smith, please come forward. Lieutenant Smith, now have his rank hand up. Engineer at Edwards Air Force Base, California. <laughs> Lieutenant Smith will now receive his first salute from Senior Airman Carlos D. So, please come forward. <laughs> Lieutenant So will now have her rank pinned up.
SO will be commissioned by Chaplain Shin H. Support Officer at Luke Air Force Base, Arizona. <laughs> Lieutenant So will now receive her first salute from Technical Sergeant Lance. Friends of Cadet Sebastian Stanton, please come forward. <laughs> Lieutenant Stanton will now have his rank pinned up. by Captain Gregory. Lieutenant Stanton will be a combat rescue officer, aka Special Ops, Colonel Cheatham, aka Snake Eater. He'll tell you where he's going to be stationed, but then you have to kill you. <laughs> that Stanton will be commit oh, correction, please. <laughs> Lieutenant Stanton will now receive his first salute.
Santa Tanamoto will now have her ranch pinned on. Tatamoto will now receive her first salute from Technical Sergeant Sloan. Simmons will be commissioned by Major Guys. Well, 
Ben Simmons will be an intelligence officer with initial training at Goodfellow Air Force. Lieutenant Simmons will now receive her first salute from Technical Sergeant Sloan. <laughs> For the family and friends of Cadet Amelia Wright, please come forward. Lieutenant Wright will now have her rank and on. Will be commissioned by Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Wright. Contracting officer at Grand Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota. Lieutenant Wright will now receive her first salute from Technical Sergeant Lamb. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the Air Force's newest lieutenants and Detachment 910's Class of 2023. The class of 2023 special awards, which will be presented by Major Guys. The RTC Distinguished Graduate Award is presented to cadets in the top 10% of their nationwide commissioning class of 1,200 cadets. The criteria for nomination is based on commander's ranking, demonstrated leadership ability, academic achievement, and extracurricular activities. 
This year, Detachment 910 is proud to recognize two cadets for their achievements. This year's distinguished graduates are Lieutenant Sebastian Stanton and Lieutenant Joel Slominski. the global context and all the challenges that an increasingly volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous uh, world present, presents to our new lieutenants. While this may seem daunting, we know that however dark the times are, our new officers' professionalism, teamwork, and leadership at Tech DTL will serve as a guiding light ready to take on our nation's challenges. Much like the Polaris star guides travelers in the darkest nights, Accordingly, our top award is called the Polaris Leadership Award. It is important to note that this award is presented to today's recipient as determined completely by the votes of his or her peers. Ladies and gentlemen, the commissioning class of 2023 has chosen as their Polaris Leadership Award winner, Lieutenant Joel Slominski. <laughs> okay. It is a tradition at Detachment 910 that as part of building a legacy, the graduating class presents a gift to the, to the detachment and to the cadets that will be following in their footsteps. Lieutenant Haga, the Command Period 1 Cadet Wing Commander, will now present a gift on behalf of the class of 2023. All right, thank you again, friends and family of the class of 2023 for joining us today. As Cadet Steele recently put, our class among many others nationwide will be commissioning into a very volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous Air Force and Space Force. With the Russian invasion of Ukraine and China's ever-growing presence, we will experience times and adversaries that are more competitive than we may have seen in recent times. Our class gift, a ping pong table located in Cadet Headquarters, <laughs> emphasizes the the need to bolster the competitive spirit to succeed as cadets and active duty officers. In implementing this class gift, we hope to not only be our classmates in ping pong matches, but also our adversaries in any competitive war fighting that may be necessary. On a less serious note, we hope that future generations of Detachment 910 cadets find the ping pong, ping pong table as a good opportunity to take a break from working hard in ROTC college and play hard with some ping pong. Thank you. And then can all newly commissioned lieutenants please join at the front of the room as well as Cadet Matthew Frontino for the presentation of a very special gift. And then stay up for photos at the end. For our guests who do not know him well, Major Geis has been such an awesome instructor and mentor. He has had such a positive influence in the way that we will lead in the Air Force, the way in which we conduct ourselves in our personal and professional lives, 
and we are eternally grateful for his service, his commitment to the program, and ultimately for guiding us as we go through this journey. Sir, I know that sometimes in class you've been tough on us, albeit for the good, and perhaps more so on the lieutenants here than us rising seniors. However, we know that it's all been with love. <laughs> with that said, <laughs> from the cadet wing, Major Guys, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. We really do appreciate it. We hope that you enjoy your promotion to Mr. Guys, and we wish you the best of luck with your future endeavors. So, with that said, lastly, to show our appreciation for you, we have provided a nice little gift for you. You can come up, sir. And uh, the new lieutenants will stay up front for the Air Force Space Force song, but once you take your photos, if you could please just return back to your seats and we'll wrap things up. Thank you. Cadre, do you want to do Cadre one real quick? Okay, we'll get Cadre in real quick, then we're going to transition. We'll have plenty of time for photos afterwards as well, but Cadre, if we can get you in. <laughs> Lieutenants will stay up here. We're going to close out. Everyone else can return to their seats. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Would everyone please rise for the playing of the Air Force song followed by the Space Force song?
Thank you, Cadet Jolanon and Cadet Haga. You really led the group there with that one, so we all have some homework to do. Um, no, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this concludes the ceremony. Thank you so much for taking the time to celebrate the commissioning of our nation's newest officers. Please feel free to take more pictures and enjoy the museum. One note, you will need a wristband if you haven't gotten one already. We have plenty over at the table by the entrance. You're welcome to explore the museum, take photos, and do whatever you need to. Congratulations again to the class of 2023. Please travel safely. General Solmisky has a friend in the room also. All right, thank you, sir. I can't hear you, but we can uh, we can debrief after. All right, very pleasure. Thank you, everyone. We'll see ya.